In this video, we're gonna be simplifying the arduous task that is water changes. Like it or not, the number one reason people encounter problems in the aquarium hobby is because they don't keep up with a regular water change regime. And it's easy to see why. Water changes are a hassle, plain and simple. One way or another, you've got to move a lot of water from point A to point B. And if you have fish tanks in a basement like me, that's even more of a hassle because gravity is not on your side. Regardless of your setup, this awesome pump is gonna revolutionize your fish keeping experience, ensure you keep on top of regular water change routines and save you an awful lot of time as well. And with time on the mind, before we get to talking about this pump, let's see it in action and find out how quickly we can change the water on my five tanks down here in the basement. I'm hoping that I can easily beat my current record of around 20 minutes and record myself at the same time. Let's go. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, daughter has gonna yeah, get her brain fried. My lady papa zany, out her lady poppy molly, why she waiting on me? Yogi in my area, yogi in my area. Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a nut. I don't wanna hear you, Jiggy Chan, I ain't gonna know, like I'm bango, cutting my hair. I just keep going though, so she's gonna make what I non stop. Kelly, it's a new York. And there we have it, a 50% water change on 230 litres of water across five tanks in just 10 minutes. Not bad, eh? So the pump I'm using is the Veton 800 watt portable garden water pump. There's a few similar looking pumps out there that seem to have pretty comparable features. And here in the UK, I noticed that Amazon now stock their own brand version called Umi, which looks virtually identical. Whichever model you settle on, it's gonna set you back around about 70 pounds, which I personally was more than happy to pay in order to never have to lug a bucket of water up the stairs ever again. The reason that these particular style of pumps are great is because they have a vacuum hose with a, a non-return valve intake, meaning that you're not gonna have any issues moving the hose between tanks and restarting the pump, and it'll generally keep your floor a lot drier. For the outtake, you can purchase an adapter for a few quid that allows you to attach a normal style garden hose, which you can then run out to the drain or into your garden to dispose of old, dirty water. Coupled with a cheap smart plug and your phone, this pump can be turned into the ultimate water change system, enabling you to quickly turn the pump on and off remotely as you move between tanks. Now, if you're a hobbit like me in a basement, this pump is rated to lift water five meters at 2,800 liters per hour and can lift water 20 meters at 1,800 liters per hour. So it should be fit for most people's use, unless your fish room is deep down in a bunker somewhere. And of course, this pump is just as useful for those of you above ground fish keepers and is rated to work with a 44 meter hose pipe should you happen to be really far away from the drain. The only real thing to be aware of is that you need to prime the pump before use so there is water throughout the intake pipe. There's a small cap by the inlet that you pour water down until full. Because my pump is in regular weekly use, I just primed it when I first got it and it has worked flawlessly ever since. In terms of the outflow hose, I just close off the end spray gun, roll the hose up and keep it permanently attached to avoid water leaking from the primed intake hose. The only potential user error I can think of is that if you forgot to close the spray gun, then water would start to flow out as you rolled it up. But this has never happened to me and the benefit of having everything primed and ready to use at a moment's notice is a risk worth taking in my opinion. And of course, if you were to permanently install the pump higher than the intake hose, you'd never have to worry about attaching the outlet hose anyway. I hope that bit makes sense. It's a bit complicated to explain, but I'm happy to talk it through in the comments section if you need more advice on installing this pump in your fish room. Oh, and after all this water pump discussion, a like and subscribe would be a splash. All in all, this is a fantastic solution. I give all my tanks a quick scrub to pull any waste into the water column, and then I'm able to really quickly pump half the water out and add fresh warm water from the kitchen mixer tap upstairs. Given that I run most of my tanks on just sponge filters using high-tech lighting, CO2 infusion, and estimative index fertilizer dosing, keeping up with a weekly water change routine is essential, and this pump has saved me an enormous amount of time and backache. So go out and buy one now. I'll leave a link in the description along with the details of the smart plug and the hose pipe adapter. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments section below. And if you wanna find out more about my estimative index fertilization regime, you can click the top card. And for one of my favorite and most relaxing aquascape videos, you can click the bottom card. Take care and I'll see you soon.